Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I come at you with some very bad news. Unfortunately, uh, the passing of old Newcastle United skipper uh, in the 80s and ex-Newcastle United manager Glenn Roder uh, passing today after a very long-term battle uh, with a brain tumour. I've got to say I am absolutely devastated at the news and I'm not doing this video, you know, uh, to get views uh, I'm not that kind of person I just want to put out you know how I'm feeling right now because I absolutely love Glenn, uh, Glenn Roda as a manager when he was at Newcastle you know um, one of the most moments that I remember the most you know about Glenn Roda at Newcastle uh, was Newcastle versus AC Alchemy at St James's Park back in 2006. You know, um, me, my mum, dad went for my 16th birthday of the game uh, as a birthday present to myself, of course. And it was an absolutely amazing night. Newcastle tore AC Alchemy, uh, Louis Van Hall's AC Alchemy apart that night. And that sticks in my memory, you know, and it will stay in my memory for the rest of time. Uh, you know, to lose a guy like Glenn Roder, you know, he's an absolute gentleman of the game. It's just, you know, what can you say? He spent five years with Newcastle in the 80s. He signed, uh, you know, back in December of 1983 for £125,000, you know, and he stayed for five years. He captained the side and... You know, you look at the news like that coming up, you know, to me, you know, that's as big as losing Bobby Robson. You know, it's somebody that had the mentality of Newcastle United and wore Newcastle United on his sleeve. He wasn't even from this area. You know, he was born in Woodford, uh, down in London, and he... He wasn't even born a Geordie, but he was brought in and adapted himself. And in my eyes, you know, that is enough to class him as a Geordie. The way he took the Newcastle United team, and let's face it, you know, he had one of the toughest jobs as a Newcastle United manager. He had to come in and replace Alan Shearer. That is a tough job to come in and have to replace somebody as amazing as Alan Shearer you know that's no easy task and he did an absolutely fantastic job uh, at the club you know and I'm not just saying that because he's passed away I absolutely adored Glenn Roder at Newcastle United he wore the club on his sleeve and he did everything he could for the team and I'll absolutely Cherish that moment going to St James's Park and seeing Newcastle United take on AC Alchemy, winning 4 2 because that was a hell of a night for us Newcastle United fans. And you know, let's not forget we were sitting near the bottom of the table when he came in and he took Newcastle all the way up to seventh in the league. You know, that is a manager, that is a manager, and that is a guy that deserves respect from us Newcastle United fans. He deserves respect from the footballing world, you know, and we're seeing it on Twitter. He's getting that, you know, he's getting the respect that's given to him and he's fully deserving of it. But I don't want to go on too much, you know, just wanted to get it out there that it's another sad day for us Newcastle United fans. A sad day, of course, for uh, Glenn Roda's family and friends as well. We thought to go out with them uh, in this very hard time. You know, I've been here as well, you know, and um, grandma and granddad passed away and, you know, I know what it feels like and I'm sure a lot of people do know what it feels like as well out there, you know, it's not nice, it's a horrible feeling to have inside and nobody wants to ever say this, you know, but it does come to all and hopefully, you know, it's not soon for a lot of work, you know. Hopefully it's way further down the line and it's by natural causes and not by something as horrible as 
you know, a brain tumour or anything like the other players in the past and managers in the past have passed from. You know, we've seen it with Bobby Robson. He died from cancer and now he has Glenn Roder dying from cancer. You know, it, it needs to be sorted. Something needs to be done. And we need to be looking for a cure for this horrible disease. And it's been going on for ages now and we'll never, ever find a cure in my eyes. But we've got to try. We've got to keep pushing. We can't give up. We've got to find a cure for this horrible disease. But I've just got to get out there. You know that Glenn Road has passed away today, uh, 65 years old as well. It's not an age, is it? It's just... It's just not an age. Uh, like I say, my thoughts go out with his family and friends, and I hope you know um, that they'll be fine. Uh, that they'll be able to pull themselves together, you know, and push through. It's not going to be easy. It never is, but you know, hopefully they can do it. Hopefully can they can have that strength uh, to live on. And you know, he's not gone fully. He's up there. He's watching down alongside the greats like Bobby Robson, you know, and all of the other players that have passed and all of the managers that have passed. But I'll see you all next time. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and rest in peace, Glenn Roder. Rest in peace.